I'm Anil Kumar, sharing with you test paper of my student. Congratulations to Melissa for excellent performance. Now we'll consider few true and false questions from this test paper. It is test on polynomial functions. Very first question is true or false. We are given four different questions here. The first one is some odd degree polynomial functions have no x intercepts. Clearly it is false statement. It is the even degree polynomials which may not have x intercept. Second is even degree polynomial functions always have an even number of x intercepts. Well, this is a question which we are going to discuss in details. Third one here is all even degree polynomial functions have at least one x intercept. That is false. Now, this last question here is if x minus a is a factor of polynomial px, then p of a equals to 0 and r of a equals to 0. That is perfectly fine. Now, question number 2 here is complete the table. We are given different functions. You need to find degree, sign of the leading coefficient, and describe the end behavior, right? So I hope you can do this question on your own. Let us discuss about the degree of polynomial and x-intercepts now. So in this video, I will actually discuss in details about the possibility of x-intercepts and degree of polynomials. Now, as you know, polynomials could be of even degree or odd degree, correct? So that is how we are uh, divided into. So we have polynomials with even degree and polynomials with odd degree. Right, so uh, let me first write general equation of polynomial also. Let us say p of x is equals to a n x to the power of n plus a n minus 1 x to the power of n minus 1 plus so on like so we'll have a 1 x plus a 0. That n is the degree of polynomial. It could be a even number or an odd number, correct? Now, if we have even degree polynomial, let us assume uh, that the polynomial has coefficient which is positive, right? So, we'll just consider in both the cases a positive leading coefficient. For negative leading coefficient, end behavior will be reversed, as you can understand, right? Now, if we have an even degree polynomial, it could be, for example, a quadratic function, right? Square, right? This could be degree 2. So, in that case, you know, polynomials will be kind of uh, going like this. So, as you know, parabola could go like this. It could even touch at one point and go like this or it could turn like this and have two x intercepts so what are we exploring we are actually exploring x intercepts of polynomial functions so you can clearly see here that for an even degree polynomial we have considered degree 2 a quadratic function very simple right in a quadratic function there could be no x intercept there could be one x intercept or there could be two x intercepts. So basically, when we see that the degree is equals to two, number of x intercepts are how many? It is zero, one, or two. So all, right? Zero, one, or two. Now similarly, if I have even degree polynomial for degree four, quartic, in that case, what are the possibilities? Now, since we are considering a polynomial, which is quartic, now it could be kind of like this, right? It could be kind of like this. So again, since we have an end behavior, we are considering positive leading coefficient. Going from quadrant 2 to quadrant 1, you can actually go from quadrant 2 to quadrant 1 without crossing x. Axis and therefore, 
minimum x intercepts could be 0. Do you see that? And since the degree is 4, 4 means you could have 4 real roots, correct? Maximum. So you could have 0, 1, 2, 3 or 4 real roots, right? I could actually draw the function kind of like this. Do you see that? So it has got one real root, correct? Or I could draw kind of like this, right? Two real roots, right? Or I could draw a function which is kind of like this, which has three real roots. Or I could draw a function which is kind of like this. Four real roots. So what you observe here is that if I have degree n, even degree n, we're talking about, so if n even degree, in that case, number of x-intercepts are how many? Yes, I think you got it. It could be 0, 1, 2, 2, n, correct? So these are the possibilities. Perfect. Now let's consider odd degree polynomial. Now for a odd degree polynomial, the end behavior is from quadrant 3 to quadrant 1, considering positive rating coefficient. So if you have to go from quadrant 3 to quadrant 1, you have to definitely cross the x-axis, correct? So, so as soon as you cross the x-axis, there will be one x-intercept at least. Do you see that? So now, so for odd degree polynomial, minimum number of x-intercepts is equals to one. For even degree, we saw it was zero. Do you see that? So that is the reason why minimum number is one for odd degree polynomial. Now the question is, maximum number will be how much, right? So, so let us say that a polynomial is of degree 3. So let's consider degree 3, right? Cubic polynomial. I'm taking a very simple example since they illustrate the whole mechanism. This is x cubed, right? This is x cubed. Or we could have a cubic function which crosses 1 and then goes like this. So in this case, we have only one x-intercept. But if I pull it down a bit, in that case, what happens? It could be like this, right? It could be like this. That means two roots. And if we further pull it down, then we could have a function which could be like this. So there could be three real roots. So basically, the number of x-intercepts in this case will be 1, 2, or 3. So in general, if the degree is n odd, in that case, number of x-intercepts will be how many? Minimum is 1, then be up to n, the degree, right? So up to degree. So that is how it is. So number of x-intercepts for odd degree polynomial uh, could be anywhere between 1 to n and for even anywhere between 0 to n. That is very important to remember. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.